In this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a cute little horse for your barn yard that stands up. So what you need for this is um, some cardboard. It doesn't need to be super heavy. Um, it needs to be able to be easy enough to cut. Um, you will probably need an adult or older kid to help with this part of it. Um, some googly eyes, some glue, some colored yarn, so brown yarn I'm gonna for the mane of the horse. Um, two clothespins. Um, optional would be a hole punch and a brown uh, crayon marker or paint or um, any other color that you want, however you want to decorate your horse. It could be a white horse, it could be a brown horse, it could be black and white, um, any kind of horse that you want. But I'm going to show you the very basic way of doing this. So we don't have to draw the legs of the horse because these are going to be its legs. So we just want to draw a, a basic body shape. So I'm just going to kind of freehand draw. There's the nose or the mouth, kind of the body here. And just go like this and you come back up here at the top for a little thing like that and that kind of becomes the ears doesn't have to be anything perfect but once you start cutting it out if you see that you've made it you want to try to shape it a little bit differently you can go ahead and do that so you want to cut this out all the way and again if you use cardboard which you need to use to make it stand up um, but it is difficult for little ones to do, so you will need to help with that. So kind of curve the body a little bit and make it like that. So that is the basic shape of my horse. Now at this point, you can color or paint um, any any way or you know put designs on you know like a like spots be a, a spotted a spotted horse any color of horse that you want if you have a blank kind of two-sided horse then you can do the same thing on the other side but this is just going to be a horse that's going to um, stand up against the background it's not double-sided so you have the basic body of your horse so i'm going to put a tail on my horse take my hole punch here put it right towards the top Give myself a little room. And then I'm gonna take my string, my yarn, and I'm gonna cut a little bit out of it. Just like this. And then I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. Probably about that much. And I'm going to cut it so then I'm going to start to put a few pieces of my yarn through this hole so probably about that much all right put them through the hole here And out on the other side and you just want to go through these loops here if you don't want to do it this way you can just tie knots or you can even just make it even more simpler and just glue it on so you just kind of want to go through the through the loops here I was probably pushing it with that many but it looks like it's working so there we go just had to get it through there so kind of tie it in a knot like that or if you don't want to do that with too much for little fingers, you just use some glue. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do some glue on top here. Just kind of show you the two different ways you can do it. So you can put some glue right up here and even a little bit right there if you want. You want to make sure you have nice short pieces for the mane. You don't want them too long. You can always give your horse a haircut once you have glued on your mane. Just kind of stick them there like that. And glue them all the way up until you've covered all the glue. Remember the glue dries clear so you won't see any of that. So then you want to put a little 
little glue dot for the eye. Ooh, big glue dot. And there is my horse. So once everything is dry, then you can put your two clothespins on there. And then your horse will stand up. So there you have a very, very kind of quick, easy way of making a horse that stands on its own.